hello guys if you like my channel please don't forget to subscribe and hit this bell icon hello everyone you are most welcome and uh, today's video is about the ace of pope we will be talking about the background of ace like uh, who were the kings and queens what about the middle class we can talk about okay we will be talk about the rise of the middle class and uh, the morality and some club and clubs and coffee houses some publication houses we will be talking about this is uh, all about background of the is we if we know the background of the is uh, we can understand the works better agar hume kisi is ke bare mein background jo cheeze hain characteristics pata hoti hain to unka jo impact hai wo hame works ke sath mein yaad rehta hai ki pope ne ye sare works is tarah se kyun likhe honge और हमें ज्यादा दिन तक वो चीजें याद रह पाती हैं तो चलिए बात करते हैं लेट्स टॉक अबाउट द एज ऑफ पोप द इयर्स बिटवीन 1700 टू 1750 दिस इज द स्पान ऑफ यू नो टाइम दिस वाज द क्लोजिंग ऑफ द इयर्स ऑफ विलियम थर्ड विलियम थर्ड जा रहे हैं एंड द क्वीन एन इज कमिंग सो एक्सेशन ऑफ क्वीन एन इन सेवनटीन सो रिमेम्बर द किंग्स एंड क्वींस for english literature as well if you have not watched my previous videos you can check out my 47 days videos the rise of political parties some qualities of the is is the rise of political parties so mainly there were two parties whigs and tories whigs were the people there were two groups two group the ek the whigs ek the tories whigs kon the jo against king the they didn't want king they wanted parliament type of things and uh, tories were who supported royal divine rights means king ko support kar rahe the albert ek uh, literary historian hai unhone kya comment kiya hai they commented that it was the golden age of, of the political pamphleteering and the writers made the most of it tories whigs ke opposite mein likh rahe the whigs tories ke opposite mein likh rahe the all right so clubs and coffee houses were there and uh, these clubs and coffee houses played a great role in developing the literature whigs could would never go to a tory coffee house and vice versa it means ki whigs and tory jo the all alag alag coffee houses mein ikatthe hote the and they used to discuss about uh, things and whigs tory wale coffee houses mein nahi jaate the and uh, tories never went to whigs coffee houses the coffee houses gave rise to purely literary associations and uh, they were associated to literary you know genre ki apne apne kisi bhi cheez ke bare mein discussion karna ho to coffee houses mein kar le kar lete the wo log such as famous scribblers uh, scribblers and kit kat clubs jo is time pe ek famous jo association the literary association to unme scribblers और किट कैट क्लब्स थे वी विल बी टॉकिंग अबाउट लेटर कि कौन किस में किससे एसोसिएटेड थे राइटर्स कुछ पब्लिकेशन हाउसेस से सम फ्यू पब्लिकेशन हाउसेस वर देयर लाइक एडमन कर्ल का था जैकब टैंसन एंड जॉन डर्नटन दीज वर द पब्लिशर्स नाउ लेट्स टॉक अबाउट अ लिटिल बिट अबाउट यू नो मिडिल क्लास सो इट वॉज द टाइम ऑफ मिडिल क्लास एंड द राइज ऑफ मिडिल क्लास एंड द न्यू मॉरेलिटी they set for themselves they made it an age of tolerance moderation and common sense so these all things you will see in works as well uh, emergence of powerful middle class so middle class was emerging and whenever middle class is emerging and becoming strong and becoming rich to uska literature mein kahin na kahin impact padta hai uh they led the age to moral regeneration next is rich merchant class we can see there william iii and uh, queen anne were several moralist and we will see the impact of uh, this morality on literature as well in the spectator edison says there was a periodical spectator we will uh, be having class next in next video about in detail about edison okay uh, so he says this is a very good uh, quotation and uh, it is very famous quotation 
I shall endeavor to enliven morality with wit and with wit with morality. So he tries his best again. So I hope you have got uh, gone through the background of the work, uh, background of the A's, and it will help you to understand more your uh, you know literary works by Poe, Edison, and other writers of this. Bye bye. Take care. Good luck for your exams.